would you like to spend time with former San Francisco Giants outfielder and fan favorite Hunter Pence, all the while creating a healthier environment and cleaner neighborhoods right here in the Bay Area? That's exactly why Hunter and his wife Lexi Pence just launched their nonprofit, The Healthy Planet Project. Earlier today, they shared with me why this mission is so near and dear to their hearts and why you should join them sometime. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Great to see you. Oh, my gosh. So excited for you because you've just launched your nonprofit, Healthy Planet Project. Congratulations. What's the big idea? Well, Kristen, we are very excited. And really, the big idea is, you know, heal the planet. Healthy Planet Project is about, you know, reducing pollution, picking up trash, planting trees, and, and you know, raising awareness as well. So, that's really it is we want to keep, you know, love the earth, keep the earth. And I'm very excited about uh, everything that's going on and, and getting launched here with Healthy Planet Project. Yeah, I know this is not new for you in the sense that this idea has been percolating for a long time for you too. Sorry, I had to say percolate because I know you love coffee. Um, <laughs> you feel passionately about inspiring people to pitch in to create a better environment, Lexi. Yeah, I mean... Look, we're all about community, we're all about relationships, and to be able to get everyone out and connect on helping make the city a better place uh, in terms of beaches, uh, planting trees in the parks, and of course, picking up trash like we did last Earth Day around the ballpark. Um, it's just a great way to connect with everyone and do something together just to make this place and pour a little love uh, back into San Francisco. I should not be surprised because I know I've seen you guys do stuff like that in the past few years. I know during the pandemic, you planted trees as well in the city. And um, now the Giants are behind you as well. They're partners of yours in this, right? Yeah, we are very excited to be teamed up with the Giants and together at SF, Refuse Refuse. We have a lot of different uh, charities around the Bay Area that are really helping us out so that we can hit many different avenues and raise more awareness and show all the great avenues that you can get out and make a difference. So the Giants are backing us up big time. Rakuten helped us out a lot on Earth Day. So the support has been overwhelming and it's, and it's way better together, Kristen. I know you know this, but uh, when we do stuff together, it gets way more powerful. So we've been really fortunate to have that support wait 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 that would almost be a good baseball team motto or something Isn't there something? Uh, I, you know yeah like together we kind of thing yeah, yeah 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 stronger together for sure and i know you held your inaugural event on earth day last weekend it was a cleanup right lexi um how did it go did you guys have fun who joined you oh my gosh we got to team up with the giants like we said and of course rackerton came out and 80 employees from Rakuten came out to help us pick up trash around the ballpark, which was unbelievable. We had how many bags? Over uh, yeah, over 100 bags. We were also supported by June Shine, who you can get now at the stadium. And oh, by the way, Kristen, since the Earth Day cleanup, and we we picked that up, and we did it all around Oracle Park. When we went to the game, the Giants obviously won, and they and keep on winning so five straight. And so, so have the Warriors. Warriors. So, so we're bringing, you know, the city's bringing that energy, and, and we're, we're cleaning up the vibe, literally. <laughs> I, I see, yeah, pick up trash, clean up the environment, and your favorite sports team wins. That's as simple as that, right? I, yeah, yeah, that's why it happened. Our work is done here. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, good energy, good karma. And I like your blue and gold for the Warriors right now. Thank you, thank them. you. Yeah. We're rooting for them. We're watching every game, so yeah. we're excited for them. Oh, they're lucky to have you cheer for them. Okay, so you had to clean up, and you're building on that, because tomorrow day, uh, is Arbor Day, and you're holding another event, right? We yes, sure are. absolutely. So we're thrilled tomorrow to go and get our hands dirty and we're going to be planting some trees. And uh, yeah, so basically that's that's what we're doing. This is the second kind of part is we got to pick up trash on Earth Day and now on Arbor Day. Uh, we're going to go to a local park here in SF and try to plant some trees and, and use, you know, the the, the scientists, the uh, or what, the agriculture is, <laughs> uh, if you will, that, that know the right way to do it. And that's one of the things that was crazy to me, Kristen, is I was like, I want to plant trees, but you got to make sure you're doing it right, make sure you're maintaining them. So it's a massive effort and there's a lot to learn. So I'm, I'm enjoying learning as I go through this process. That is so fabulous. And I know what you two seek to do is to really harness the power of the community, like get everybody excited. Like Hunter, you always did on the team, right? There's a reason why like when you're jumping everybody else is jumping and you guys really want to involve everyone so everybody can join you guys or can they yeah. you know look at your missions coming up and go I want to do this 
Yes, of course. I mean, the more the merrier. And obviously, we love to connect with everyone and make this fun, make it a fun event for everyone involved. But you can go to the healthyplanetproject.org and sign up for the newsletter if you guys want to join us for our next event. Hunter and I will, of course, be there. And we'd love to chat with you. I love hearing about, I love picking up trash and hearing about music people love to listen to. I have a little playlist going all the time while we're picking up music. So we're jamming, we're moving, we're grooving, picking up trash, making it great. Um, so also, we, yeah, join, join the newsletter so that you can, we have a lot of events going on throughout the year. So this is just the start. Uh, we're hoping to expand and get bigger. But if you join the newsletter, you can get all the details and find out where you can fit in, you know, get in where you fit, fit in. in. Also, in the meantime, if you want to pick up some trash on your way out, that's always great. Uh, Hunter and I like to have a rule where we try to pick up three pieces of trash when we're outside walking the dog or just hanging out and we see trash on the ground. We just pick it up and put in the trash. So our goal is three pieces a day. And um, some days we do it, some days not so much, but we try our best every time we go out. I like that. Small goals that you know you can accomplish, right? And mm -hmm. uh, you build on that. Okay, so I know you are also busy helping other charities through your amazing uh, Pineapple Labs, your coffee and lifestyle company, and you do a lot of collabs and you have monthly release of new coffee. How's that going? Um, it's going great. Uh, we've partnered with two local businesses, Hotel VN, 25 plus here in the city. They are serving Pineapple Labs. You can buy a coffee bag there. You can go and get coffee from them. Um, but it's going good. And for your, uh, in honor of Earth Day and Arbor Day, we are offering a very cute gift set where you get a house plant in a reusable box. And we're trying to be have a zero carbon footprint as well by the end of hopefully 2025. Amazing. And what is this month's brew, by the way? Always interesting. Oh. This month's brew is Hazy Daisy, and it goes perfectly with the houseplant. So it's great Mother's Day gifts coming up. Um, next month, we're also offering, uh, we're calling it the triple. So we're giving you three coffees for good price, and those make great, great, great Mother's Day gifts. The triple. Those are always so fun. Hi, I do you miss triple. hitting those triples? I know, right? Especially in that ballpark. Triples, you don't get a lot of, you know? You don't get a lot of, so you love triples. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I love hitting triples, but I also love watching the Giants and what they're doing. And, and I, I can't wait to get out there and start broadcasting some games soon. So I think I have 20 games this season and uh, it's been fun, though, following the team. And I got to work with them a little bit in spring training. Uh, and I, I am so happy to see them, you know, finally get going the way that I knew that they were going to be. It's almost similar to spring training, Kristen. They started off really slow, then they took off and they and they didn't stop. That's kind of the MO. I, you know, it's like you read my mind because that was literally my next question about how excited are you for this season, right? Commentating. I think you're doing the away games, right? Yeah, I got 20 of the away games, but very excited. Like, I definitely think the Giants are very underrated, and you're starting to see that. Like, their pitching is just absolutely outstanding. You're seeing this Scalfani. Alex Cobb just went, you know, complete game. I think he was potentially Cy Young uh, numbers last year, and we've upped the defense. Tyro Estrada is looking amazing. Flores is on fire. And, you know, getting Slater and Hanniger back going. There's just so much I'm excited for. I really believe in their bullpen as well. Uh, Bannister and Bailey are two of the greatest minds in pitching. And uh, I just, yeah, I definitely think we're going to have one of those ramp up, and we're just going to continue to soar, Kristen. I mean, do you want to venture a, you know, guess as to where we'll end up this season? I'm not a big predictor or guesser, you know, because okay. everything is probabilities. But, day by day. But, I mean, <laughs> like, definitely we're going to win the World Series. So that's oh, that's, the, okay. that's, the, that's the only thing that matters, you know? <laughs> that's very day by day, uh, by the way. But, but yeah, <laughs> we believe, we believe. Um, look, with all this going on, right, for you right here, especially with the Healthy Planet Project, you're putting down even deeper roots, I mean, literally and figuratively, right, here. So... Would it be safe to say you guys are not leaving the Bay Area or California anytime soon? I don't think we ever left, Kristen. We never <laughs> left, but no, I, we're we're kind of we're full time Bay Area now, so yeah. we live here. This is now our home, and um, yeah, it was it was fun to finally make the full journey and and uh, make this the the uh, the roots. San Francisco can't get rid of us that quickly. Mm -hmm. Aww. Okay, so when people ask you, do you say, "Yep, we're Californians"? Yes. Yay! Yeah, we did yeah, it. We're on the team, California. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Hunter and Lexi Pens, so excited for you for all that you're doing and for Healthy Planet Project. It looks amazing. I know a lot of folks are going to take part, um, and you're going to do a lot of good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you so we much. We couldn't do it without you. Yeah, so we appreciate we're very, the very love. Appreciative. Thank you. Uh, come back anytime. Thanks. <laughs>